All right, so I'm back for another video. Let's talk some trash. Just on beauty products, that is. These are my January empties. I don't have a lot. Um, I haven't went through a whole lot of products this month um, or used up a bunch. But I do have a couple here, and I want to get it thrown away. So I figured I would just go through what I do have. So first things first, this is the... Um, e.l.f. eyelid primer. This is only a dollar at most drugstores. I know Walmart started carrying some e.l.f. products, Target, um, and of course online at eyeslipspace.com. So I do really, really like this for a dollar. I think it is an amazing eyeshadow primer. It does not crease on me. Um, it really helps my eyeshadows, you know, last. I would definitely repurchase it repurchase this. In fact, I do think I have one in my drawer of, um, you know, backup products. So this is definitely something that I will keep repurchasing. Next is the Maybelline um, Rocket Volume Express Mascara in black. I love this. I've already been using um, my new one. I talked about it in my favorites video. Great mascara. Love the wand. Love the volume. I do use this. Um, on top of other mascaras as well if I want to double up. So yes, would definitely repurchase this. Some deodorant. This is the Lady Speed Stick Invisible Dry 24 Hour Protection in Shower Fresh. I do really like this deodorant. Um, for some reason, um, all the other deodorants that I've used actually make me sweat more, I feel. That's really gross, but it's the truth. Um, and this one does not. This one doesn't make me feel wet under the armpit. Um, I don't get staining. Really, really like this. I normally stick with kind of like powdery scents just because if you are sweating and you have like a fruity scent, I just think that's kind of gross. I don't know. That's just me. <laughs> but anyway, yes, I do use this currently, so I definitely would repurchase this. On to some dry shampoo. This is the Not Your Mother's Clean Freak Refreshing Dry Shampoo. Um, this wasn't bad. I can't remember if I liked the smell or not. I don't think. Yeah, it's not bad. Um, kind of refreshing, clean. Um, but for some reason, the best dry shampoo for me is the Batiste. And I use the one that um, is for dark hair. I mean, these other ones are fine, too. I mean, if I had to use them, I would. So I'm not saying I wouldn't repurchase it, but um, probably only if I couldn't get my hands on the Batiste or something like that. For my face wash, I use the Clinique Wash Away Gel Cleanser. I've been using this for years. I used to work for Clinique, so I absolutely love this product. I use this to cleanse my face of all the makeup and gunk and then I go in with an actual facial cleanser. Um, I don't like to use products um, that just, you know, they say they are doing everything, like taking off your makeup and cleansing your face because I don't really feel that that's the case. I feel you need to get your, you know, your face clean first of all your makeup before you can actually cleanse your face. So I use this, love it, it's not harsh, it's good for oily skins because it's a gel base instead of like creamy or lotiony feeling. I already have a new one in my shower, I have one in my backup drawer, and I just ordered two more for a Clinique's gift with purchase. So that must say something about that product. I love it. And I went through a Bath & Body Works Caribbean Escape pocket bag. Love these. I have a ton. I keep them in my makeup drawer. Um, so the first thing I do before I do any of my foundations or anything is I use this on my hands just to get rid of any bacteria that would be lingering on there. So yes, I have a ton of these and I will keep repurchasing them. Next is the Purity Made Simple from Philosophy, this little sample. I actually had another little mini that I went through too, but I must have threw it away. I really, really love this. Um, I think this is nice. I don't use this, like I know they say you can use this to take your makeup off and cleanse your face. I don't do that. Like I said, I clean my face of makeup first and then I go in and use this as the makeup or as my facial cleanser. Um, I just think you're gonna get a, a cleaner face, if that makes sense, because one product trying to fight through makeup and everything to get to the actual skin to cleanse it, I just think it's too much for one product to do. So that's just how I like to do it. I do love this. I have a big bottle in the shower right now. 
this is good stuff. I also tried the Sephora um, Instant Moisturizer. This was a sample I got. Um, I actually really liked this. Um, it's really hard with me and moisturizers. I know if you're oily, I know you have to still moisturize. I, I get all that. But some moisturizers are just too much for me. And sometimes if I moisturize every day, that's still a little too much for me. But this, I actually felt wasn't too much. Like I felt like I could use this every day if I really wanted to. And I wouldn't break out. It wouldn't clog my pores. I actually like this. And I don't think it's a bad price either, if I'm not mistaken, when I looked it up. So I actually would repurchase this definitely um, when I'm in the market for a new moisturizer. I went through the um, Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. This is the original one. I know there's some other ones out there. I used this years ago. Oh my gosh, probably, I want to say, a good six plus years ago. And I remember liking it. Um, I actually finished this up this morning on my makeup, so mm -hmm. I'm kind of just paying attention to see how my makeup wears for the day. Um, I felt every time that I've used it, my makeup does last. I was worried because I know there is one for oily skin, I believe. Um, but this one doesn't feel too heavy. It is that silicone base um, to help fill in kind of pores and make everything um, look really smooth and flawless. So I do like this. I think it's really pricey um, for primers. I know primers are kind of pricey, but um, this one's up in the 30s. So I don't know. I'd kind of play around, look in the market a little bit, see what's out there before I would absolutely purchase this one. But I did like it. This, I have no idea where I got it, and I really have no idea what it is. I used it like the direction said, but I, I did not like this. It's um, Perfect Skin Perfection Gel. Um, it says with smart color technology, vitamins, A and E. Um, this was in the color Radiant. I don't know if any of you know what this is, um, but you are supposed to pat this onto face and neck. Not really. You weren't supposed to smooth it out. You're just supposed to pat. Use sparingly. It's supposed to reduce the appearance of redness, enlarged pores, fine lines, and shine. Helps maintain hydration. And it's free of all paraben sulfate. So this is really supposed to be a great product. And I don't know if I didn't apply it correctly or maybe I have the wrong color. I'm not sure. So if any of you know what this product is or are familiar with it and how to use it, please let me know because what it claims to do is something that I would actually like with my skin. I do have some redness and different things like that. So if this would really work, I would consider, um, you know, purchasing it again, you know, trying it again. I do have one more sample of this. So if you guys um, leave in the description box how to really use this, maybe I will try that out again. But I don't know. As of right now, I wouldn't repurchase it just because it didn't really work for me. So that was everything. Like I said, I didn't have too many, but I wanted to get through these couple things I had so I could get it thrown away and start over um, on some new empties. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave any comments down below of videos you would like to see um, or any products you guys think I should try out. And I will definitely see you guys later in the next video. Bye, guys.